Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 374. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And well, we got a lot of news today. Um, how would I put this? Uh, it's three news, but they're kind of related to one another. So, well, let's not dilly dally and hop right into it. So, first news is Koto. <laughs> Complete Kotobukiya figure or Fluttershy figure revealed. Yay! So, a while back we mentioned that um, the Pinkie Pie Kotobukiya figure was out, it was for pre order and whatnot, and now it's in the hand of the public. And uh, then there was the Twilight one that was f- previewed, colored, and also up for pre order, if I'm not mistaken. And now we have the complete figure of Fluttershy now. So a few things to note here is that Fluttershy looks really cute. <laughs> um however this um uh, these are the better pictures because I think what we got an in depth look with uh Pinkie Pie and I complained that some of the parts look like they weren't really well done and whatnot. But it seems here f- that, well, Fluttershy looks really good. Like, l- look at her. This is one of those models that I would love to buy, but I do not have space to keep. Um, Let's see. Uh, I, I got nothing more to say. Or I'm sorry. I, I don't have any criticism to say now because this is, quote-unquote, their best figure that they took for a picture. So, yeah... <laughs> it's hard to say um, one of the few things is that um, this one will be priced around 100 American dollars and would be released in December of 2019 in Japan or worldwide in 2020 so hmm, there's some news and also on top of that it is now available for pre-order on Amazon so if you would like, order it on Amazon. Like, I got no idea where you usually buy your figures. Um, if I do understand right, some anime stores that take um, Kotobukiya stuff would usually do that. And also, if I'm not mistaken, uh, what's that bookstore? Kinokunya? If I'm not mistaken, they do that too. So, hey, if you do shop there why not right why not give a shot and it seems that well uh, let's see uh, her release date is set for december of third yeah december 31st yes so it will be interesting it'll be interesting and i'm just gonna take a look see at the pictures because they look really cool like this is one of those figures that are really really cool the Bishojo series, and honestly, I do own a Bishojo figure. Um, that's the Black Cat, uh, Marvel's Black Cat, and the box is two. Hmm, what's that? Um, Echo Struggle Mini figures stacked on top in box, like it's that high, and I think in width it's like two Funko pops. Uh, stacked together back to back so it's a pretty big box and this one here eh, it looks good it looks really good the Fluttershy looks good and if I remember right it's is the movie version of Fluttershy so yeah uh, other than that I can't say much like I can't wait for this to be in stores and if I can afford to buy it I'm gonna buy it probably and last but not least is, well, um, San Diego Comic Con is running and Kotobukiya has previewed their rarity figure. And it's just a prototype right now. That's why it's all grayed. Uh, nothing really fancy to show. But my goodness, if you take a look see at this, this is really amazing. Like, look at her. She is gorgeous. Um, there's no real picture here, so I don't really see anything more, but dang, 
with the post that we're getting right now, just look at the details, like in the hair, the dress, and especially for pony rarity, look look at her mane and tail, um, discounting the um, front hoofs, because that looks a bit iffy around here. But discounting that, because this is not a finished product, still things are <laughs> required work. This looks really good. I mean, Rarity's human eyes are like, <laughs> why are they giving me the uh, bedroom eyes, as they say? <laughs> and the curls are just amazing, man. The curls are just amazing. Um, we did get a lot of curls with the Pinkie Pie one, right? Um, just see the previous news. Pinkie Pie already having, okay. Uh, let's see, what does EQD... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pinkie Pie doesn't really have much curls. But looks good. Looks really, really good. Yeah. But you know, honestly, I think what this is the first version of the. You know what? I I can't say that's the first version because Kotobukiya should have done better. I don't know. Looks good, but I feel like they could have done better. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. But hey, Slatishai looks good in previews. So who knows? The finished product would be. Or the marketed product would be much better for the audience at home or the consumers. So let's just wait and see for that. And Rarity here looks really, really awesome. And yeah, I, I can't wait. <laughs> uh, if I have the money, I would buy all six or probably seven, eight or nine. Yeah. And you're wondering who could be the seven, eight, and nine. Sunset Shimmer, Princess Luna, and Celestia. Yep. <sighs> There's a lot. There's a lot. So we'll wait and see. Oh man, I wish I have cash for this. A um, hundred bucks. So that's going to make... Wow, it's almost a grand. <laughs> no money. No money. And well, that's the news for this week. I say the... <laughs> I, like I mentioned before, we had three news. And that's probably... Well, how would I put this? A lot, but if you're talking about the same topic <laughs> back to back, it kind of compressed into a little episode. But anywho, um, let's go to my next topic, or my favorite topic is what have I been doing my week? And what's been happening is pretty okay. No, nothing too fancy, nothing too um, cool or fabulous, but I've been... Um, doing a bit of the exercise and whatnot, so thought about like hmm, I pr probably get some exercise and whatnot, and stop being a nerd, not really, but anywho, um, got a exercise bike and pedaled my way for eleven kilometers. I I don't know how much is that is in miles, not hundred percent sure, but it's pretty far I guess and my legs were tired and I had a good sweat so exercising is good especially when it's in front of your PC and you're watching YouTube so that's entertainment for you there so make yourself a challenge either finish watching the video or set a distance for me I set a distance while watching two YouTube videos usually some of them are an hour long they're quote unquote almost like podcasts so yeah, um, that's what I did. So that was a lot of fun, and um, other than that, not nothing much. But I do want to ask you guys at home, um, you know, put it down in the comments below. Um, like, I won't say Q and A, but I just want to ask you guys at home, what was your first My Little Pony Franchise Magic product that you bought? Um, it could be fan work or official and so on. Mine was this shirt. Um, if I rem I don't remember the title, but I do remember where I bought it from. This was a We Love Fine shirt. And if I do remember right, uh, way back when, in the days of 2011 or 12, uh, there was a podcast called the Bronyville Podcast. And I think compiled with Equestria Daily on top of that um, they were 
showing or they were just talking about uh, where to buy pony shirts and so on so i was kind of team into the fandom and kind of digging it and wanting to get into it decided i want to get a shirt so i bought two shirts um, first was this and the other was uh, a silhouette of rainbow dash and i think um, this shirt got 20 percent cooler or something like that and those were the two or those were the first two pony shirts that i own and it was a lot of fun it was a lot of um, excitement I, I was giddy i was joyful for buying it and this shirt here that when when i bought this shirt i i felt that oh no pe people are gonna judge me because oh his ponies and whatnot oh god no oh no but in the end i what's the word i'm looking for put on a thick face stone face um just a brave face and just dive in and just bought a lot of pony stuff as you can tell from my background here like yeah like um the fluttershy here oh, okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that fluttershy one there that's an official pillow um the rainbow dash one <laughs> here is a fan made shirt from buck i remember buying it in buck 2013 was well, it was a long while ago and the derpy one next to the shark which is over here same place too oh the twilight there that's from a crane game that i bought no no you, you don't buy uh, you try to win crane games yes that's what i did i won a crane game yes and it was a lot of fun and um there, there's a lot i have a lot of pony toys and that one twilight there there's a 4 e uh, pony plush and i love 4 d e plush they're really good looking and they're really top quality but the problem is 4 d e don't make them anymore or they don't really want to make them because uh when i look at the website it's kind of hard like it's been a while so i'm just gonna discount them as they don't make them anymore and so on so i i love buying a lot of merch i i, I love buying pony toys and so on but as of now when I take a look see at what's in the market, when I take a look see at what I want to spend my money on pony in terms of ponies, it's kind of dwindling. Like I don't really want to buy more plush because I don't have more place to put them. And the plush that are available are not the greatest of qualities. They're not like a white dove creation plush or so on, but Usually those kind of plush cost about three hundred dollars and so on because of the quality and whatnot. And honestly, I would love to own a plush of um, my OC. That would be cool and great, but that would be expensive at the same time too. And yeah, mon money is usually an issue. Other than that, um, I I like buying figures, but like I mentioned before, <laughs> no place to put them. Um, I, I do love the um, Funko vinyls. Uh, they're, they're, they're the mini vinyls. Like um, this one. This one here. Like it's not that big. It's a replica of the uh, Funko vinyls. The, the big ones. But it's shrunk down to this size. I got no idea what you want to call it. And it's kind of cool. And one of the other things that I love to buy before were the blind bags. I, I got this one. I got no idea what her name is. But this were cool back in the days. But now it's kind of expensive. So I, I had to stop there because other things, other interests and bills. B usually bills are the things that I need to kind of control. But anywho, um, enough of the downer. So... Um, you guys at home, tell me, like, uh, what was your first um, pony merchandise? Like, I, I would love to read down and see what, what, what were your <laughs> few first things that you really bought. Um, it doesn't really matter from art or music to um, plush to um, those even brushables. Like, I have a... Um, who now? 
Yeah. Uh, oof. This is dusty. Uh, <laughs> I have a um, Tempest Shadow brushable, and it's not getting out of the box because ponies with Mohawks are hard. <laughs> so yeah. Um, do do share down below because I would love to read it and see what you guys have. So anywho, um, let's wrap this up. I've filled air for a bit, so yay. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at nimbiashugmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Do check it out there. Um, also, if you're not a uh, what you gonna call this Twitter user, I also have the what you gonna call this Instagram. Um, Instagram is usually what I post sometimes, but um, it's more than what I do with Twitter. So if you would like to check out some new things about what I've been doing, um, Instagram would be a good place. Uh, I posted a picture of me on the exercise bike with some of the results of what I've, I've been doing and stuff. So yay. So that's um, a place to check it out. And also, yes, uh, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLife.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, please do subscribe to the Review and Discussion podcast on iTunes and also Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and also Torterra reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and movie slash specials. Also, we like to do other things other than ponies, and that's anime. Yay! <laughs> Usually it's anime, um, but we we cover a variety of things from animes to games to movies, like um, real full-fledged movies. And yeah, we, we do like all those stuff and we do like talking about it. So who knows, maybe one day we'll just talk about Overwatch. And Overwatch has a huge update coming soon, so that'll be something interesting to talk about if Silver and Terra would love to talk about it. If not... We'll just talk about movies. Mo movies are always fun to talk about. Um, Detective Pikachu was a fun watch. And also, I wonder if Silver went to watch The Lion King. Uh, I won't be watching that one because to me, they say it's a live action movie. And to me, <laughs> um, live action Lion King would be strange. I uh, I, I think who told me or a re reviewer once said like the only live action thing about Lion King was the ground probably <laughs> so anyway um, yes that's that so do subscribe uh, you, you'll probably have more shenanigans other than what I've been blabbering on with myself so anyway um, if you'd like to support the show you can do so at patreon.com slash slash the MBS show and uh, with every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Jeffrey, and also myself. Like, thank you so much, guys. You are great. So, anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I will catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.